Greetings to the beloved members of the Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church, Newmark, Alabama. I pray that this message finds you in good health and strength. It is a blessing to be able to come back before you with another weekly update. Just a couple of quick things and then I'm going to be out of the way for today. On this evening at 6, no, I'm sorry, this evening at 7 o'clock p.m., we will have our family worship night. I want you to invite family and friends to worship with us. We're excited uh, to have the Progressive Union Missionary Baptist Church and the new pastor, uh, Pastor Dion Watkins, will be with us on tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Don't forget to share that with your loved ones, and don't forget to be there in person as well. We're looking forward to having an altar call prayer at the end of the worship service tonight. We want to be praying for families, praying with families, as you will fill the altar, those who feel led. We certainly want to invite you to share this with those in the community to come and be a part of this as well. Then also, uh, we want to remind you that we do fast on today. You should be in the middle of a fast. Each Wednesday in the month of August, we've asked our members to be in fasting from 6 a.m. to 12 noon, praying for those partners that we are looking for to join us in the ministry, those members that God is going to bring to our church and those that he's going to allow to return back to our, our fellowship. And then also we're praying against the paralysis of ministry. It's been a difficult season nonetheless. We have gone forward through it uh, to accomplish what God would have us to do. Some great opportunities that are coming before us as we go into this school year, hopefully with the school system uh, and with our uh, schools we have adopted out at Buckhorn Middle School, Buckhorn High School, and of course New Market School, and then uh, some of the surrounding elementary and middle schools as well. And I also want to encourage you uh, to be prayerful for those families that have recently lost loved ones. We don't know when our time will be, but certainly keep those families lifted in prayer, knowing that God is going to give the grace, the strength, and the peace that's necessary to get through those moments. There are many other things I could share with you, but in the interest of time, I'm going to stop right there. Please don't forget also that this Sunday morning at uh, 9 o'clock a.m., we do have corporate intercessory prayer. And then at 9.15, we're going to have our Sunday school portion. We're looking forward to getting back to a full hour of instruction. One of the things that I've been noticing is that in the life of our church, we're really falling behind in our development and discipleship. So we want to really look at coming back together full circle uh, in the next few months before the end of the year. But then also, on next Wednesday, we do have an engagement out at Douglas Tabernacle. You'll hear more about that on Sunday. But again, the focus for today is worship tonight, 7 p.m. You can dress casually, share this with family and friends. Don't want to miss it. I believe we're going to be blessed. God bless you as you go forth in this day. Look forward to seeing you all tonight.